Hello and welcome, and we're going to have another playthrough of War Thunder. We're playing with some nice uh, low tier, uh, one uh, first tier fighter uh, planes. In this particular instance, I'm playing as the Hurricane Mark I, which is, uh, you know, definitely the best uh, first tier uh, fighter that the British have, and it is actually one of the better uh, first tier planes. Uh, doesn't have WEP, which I, I kind of have a little bit of an issue with, but it has uh, eight of the 303 uh, British machine guns, which is pretty decent firepower. It's not the best, but it's pretty decent, and it's pretty well-rounded besides. Now, obviously, uh, compared to some of the Russian planes, which have really, 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 really a lot of firepower in the Tier 1, it obviously isn't going to compete in the firepower department, but... It, it, it uh, is a decent plane that usually holds it on. Okay, so we're facing Russians, although according to the description we were supposed to be facing the Germans, I thought. But oh well. So definitely Russians. So we get to see how, was, how well this thing faces off against Russians. Uh, it looks like we have a combination of low tier 2 uh, planes and maybe some high tier 1s. We have a lot of bombers as uh, in our force. Uh, yeah, a pretty disproportionate number of bombers. So hopefully <laughs> uh, we don't get too outnumbered by uh, fighters. Usually when I'm facing against the Russians, I, I tend to see more fighters than bombers. On the other hand, though, those PBYs very well, very well may end a uh, match if they're lo loaded with up with bombs because the PBYs can have quite a heavy bomb load, which can take out bases pretty easily. Okay, another enemy f fighter has crashed, which is good for us. Alrighty. Although I never like to see enemy fighters crash like that, especially when you end up having matches that are very anticlimactic because you just you just outnumber the opponent like right off the bat. There's not really much of a chance or much of a fight because not really much of anyone gets shot down. I, I mean, I, this is not the first attempt at me recording in this in this day uh, of fighting, and I've had a couple boring matches where I've been on the winning side and and my team has only really shot down two planes. All the rest of the entire enemy team just crashed, which is really, you know, not a very good end to a battle. I don't know why these enemy planes are crashing. I don't know if they were trying to do strafing on ground targets and crashed into the ground. If they were trying to do too extreme of a maneuver and ripped off their wings. If they just crashed on takeoff. And I, I hear a friendly. Yeah, there's the friendlies. They're really close to me. You always have to be mindful of friendlies so you don't run into them. All right, so we kind of overtook the, the PBYs. Maybe we'll kind of hang out with the PBYs and, and give them some cover here against the Russians. That shows you how slow PBYs are. As I've just outrun uh, all of them, even though they all got air starts. <laughs> all right, we're at just de pretty decent altitude, about getting close to 10,000 feet. Uh... Haven't really seen anybody as of yet. Probably should keep eyes forward. Kind of do a uh, screen for the PBYs. In case there's anybody up high here. I really hope they stay high. I hate it when bombers go way low. Um, so that Spitfire strafing ground targets is well of a use of a Spitfire as that is. And then he's on fire already. Idiot. Alright, so we've got to make three up here with us. I'm going to try and climb higher than he is, although I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference. He's coming head on for us. I don't want to head on past with, him, uh, with any Russian plane. Although, maybe not. So I'm just going to aim towards him because it doesn't look like he is going for me. And hopefully get to him before he gets to my PBYs. 
Uh, he may not be aware of me. Alright, I'm gonna put some fire down. I wasn't good aiming, but I'm trying to maybe scare him off here so he doesn't go after my PBYs. Which he's doing anyway. Come on. Dang Russian planes. They're OP nonsense. And if you're one of those people that say, Russian planes aren't OP, you know they are. They have incredible firepower. They don't get shot down very easily. Alright, I'm going to cut my power here. Alright, come on. Alright, he's, he's gaining on me. That's alright. I'm not exactly sure what a BKJ is. Okay, we're keeping on this guy pretty well. Unfortunately, we're not doing a very good job of hitting him. Alright, we critted him on something. I didn't see what the crit was, though. Alright, I'm going to slow down here because he's trying to lose me. Alright. Alright, speed back up. This guy is moving very wildly, trying to lose me. Which didn't really work for him. Okay, I got a gear leg. Woohoo. Alright, we're just gonna dump rounds into him, and now he's on fire. And there goes my ammo. Hopefully he's dead. And... Alright, let's get our bearings here. And the fire went out. So yeah, I didn't use the best trigger discipline, but I just dumped a ton of rounds into him, and he's fine. Bastard. I really hate Russian planes. I really do. <laughs> and if I had practice a little bit better trigger discipline, I definitely would have had him down because at that last moment when I set him on fire, I was literally, gosh dang it. Him. This guy's on my tail. I'm gonna make it out of this. Alright, I got the guy. He did eventually crash. I'm trying to get this eye shacked up. Oh, I don't think that's gonna happen. And I don't have any allies near me. I'm just gonna have to be a hard target. really sure how to lose this guy. If I cut my throttle, he'll just do the same. And, oh my god! And my fire won't go out, I guarantee you. So he's barely gotten any shots on me, I'll point out. And, already on fire. Oh, okay, luckily for me, I'm out. trying to do anything to get this guy off me. Hopefully one of my allies will catch up to him eventually. That guy was probably camping on our airfield and I wasn't I wasn't looking for enemies. So I was kind of surprised by him. And then he got in a really good position and I couldn't really do anything about it. Okay, if he tries to stay on me at this point, I hope he dies. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna book it because I have a fuel leak here, and my engine's overheating, so I gotta get out of here. I was just going for the the runway, and uh, unfortunately that didn't really work for me. Let's see how we're doing. Most of the enemies shot down. That was really rough. 
I did my best to try and survive that. Which I, I think I did, but... Unfortunately... We now got a situation here where my engine's about to overheat. I am over enemy territory and have a ways to go. I'm just gonna try and... Uh, do a combination of, of, of climbing and getting better speed here. So I increase my chances of making it to the runway. Because if my engine cuts out, I'll have the altitude to hopefully glide in. And maintaining my speed, I get there quicker, obviously. I also have a fuel leak, but uh, that's not my biggest concern. I have high hopes of getting there. And it looks like my team did pretty well. I'm kind of mad at myself for not having good tr trigger discipline earlier and then <laughs> letting down my guard and letting a guy that was camping our airfield to get a drop on me or, you know, camping the area, I guess I should say. Okay, so we're getting there. I have high hopes of making it now. Hopefully I didn't lose my uh, landing gear. If I did, that's going to be a big problem. Well, there's one way to find out. I'm going to kill my speed. Which should lower my temperature here, which it looks like it's doing. And when we're down to, I would say, about 150 miles an hour, I'll experiment and see if my landing gear comes up. It looks like I have landing gear, so I'm going to get my airspeed back up and get my gear back. Um, okay, that might have been an unwise choice. I was just checking to see if I had my... Uh, <laughs> looks like the fuel leak stopped, but now my engine has a very likely possibility of overheating here. Near the airspace, PBY. Alright, I really gotta make this. I really gotta make this. Okay. Get that landing gear down. Okay. Don't stall, don't stall, don't stall. Hit the landing gear. Ah, I'm so messed up. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, I just made it. I think. Phew. That was stressful. <laughs> that was really stressful. My engine's about to cook out, but uh, we'll get a repair here soon. Not exactly sure how you turn off your engine. I've never been able to... I never really bothered to look that up. <laughs> Question is, which will happen first? My engine uh, overheating or the repair? <laughs> okay, so we're rearmed. And in five seconds, we'll be in the air. So this isn't necessarily the best playing performance by me, but I'm probably going to put this video up. Up, because I think a lot of interesting things happened in the match. Okay, so one of the enemy got shot down, so there's one guy left who hasn't done anything all match. Uh, well, he's got points. Oh, he shot somebody down. Okay. So one of our fighters just got shot down. I don't know for sure 
Okay, with that hurricane making the landing, that's good. I might be the only fighter in the air right now. Because the hurricane's down. So we've got two bombers. <coughs> and one fighter on the runway and one fighter in the air. Against one fighter of theirs. Now, I didn't see which type of fighter that was. But it was more than likely... Uh, one of their better ones. I don't think it was an I-16 or a... Uh, I think it was a lag or a, uh, a MiG. The only problem is I don't know where that F-4F was when he... Uh, I think it was an F-4F uh, when he got shut down. <laughs> okay, now the guy that got shot down is uh, claiming he hit the engine of the... Uh, lag, which is what I thought the guy had. Okay, I see him on the map. There he is. Okay, so we have a chance at this. Just be smart. No head-ons. He looks like he's going for the Havoc. Or possibly the PBY. I don't know if he sees me yet. Yeah, he looks like he's making a beeline for the PBY. Fortunately, I can't help right now. And if I could whip, I would be whipping. Gosh dang it. I don't want to head on with that guy. I actually didn't expect to head on. Wow, I don't know what he's doing, because he just let me get right on his, his butt. Okay. No, bad shots. So. Okay, there's good hits on him. I'm going to back off a little bit because he's trying to get me to overshoot. Which I'm not going to bite into. Looks like that Havoc is going pretty hardcore for him. Havoc does have forward-facing guns if I remember correctly. Let's see if we can get... Nah. Ah, no. And I didn't want to overshoot him, so... Kind of just... Dove in there and dove out. Okay, we're getting into him a little bit. Okay, we got a kill assist. That should be the last guy. So, pretty interesting match. I got a kill. I got a kill assist. Not too bad. Could have done better, obviously. I almost got myself shot down. And there's the end of the match. So we come away with a, a, a plain and decent condition. So-so flying by me. But uh, as I said, you know, the main reason I got in that bad situation with the uh, I-16 is because I didn't see him coming until it was too late. And I probably didn't do the smartest thing to try and avoid him. <laughs> but when somebody has that some, that much altitude on you, he really does have an advantage. Now, obviously, as this is a low-tier match, oh, I just got an insignia, okay. Uh, because this is a low-tier match, uh, I didn't get a whole lot of RP or anything for what I just did because I am I have stuff that, you know, I'm unlocking stuff that's Tier 3 with a Tier 1 plane. Uh, but in any case, uh, let's just take a look at what happened here. So the enemy team didn't do a whole lot as far as shooting down uh, my team. As a matter of fact, I don't really know how as many of uh, the teams on my side got uh, uh, killed as they did. Uh, probably crashing and things. Because only one guy on their team had a kill. Uh, we had a couple guys on our team that had a couple kills. As well as ground targets. <laughs> destroyed. And assist to boot. So these two guys did pretty well. And uh, I got a kill and an assist, uh, which is which is good. Uh, I think that Havoc got the kill, obviously, and I'm going to assume one of these planes is the Havoc. Uh, and another guy on our team got a kill. So pretty good. Uh, a total of, what, uh, six kills, even though they have, you know, how many people on their team. See, that's the thing what I'm talking about, is, is the number of kills never really match up with how many people get killed, usually. And uh, at the end of that match, my team only had four guys left alive. Out of, I don't know, 12 probably. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, 
Four guys were alive out of 12, and yet their team only got one kill. Which makes you wonder what happened to those eight guys that died. <laughs> In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.